Let us discuss the two common characterization techniques EDS and XRF. Both techniques use to analyze the elemental composition of any sample. Elemental composition means that we have a sample how many elements are there. They basically reveal the information about the elements such as lead, such as iron, such as copper, copper and silver. These techniques not only provide about the elements existence but also provide what is the percentage of this element in terms of atoms or weight exist in that sample. So they also provide the percentage information. This means that the quantity, what quantity that element exists in the sample. So these are very, very crucial and important characterization techniques uh, at industrial level and at laboratory level. ADX basically stands for energy dispersion X-ray spectroscopy and XRA basically stands for X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy. The key difference is here in the ADX basically we use electron is a is a is a primary source but in X-ray basically the primary source is X-rays right I will differentiate between these two techniques uh, but before that let me give you a brief overview that these two techniques are basically very useful in close characterization techniques in most cases both techniques basically use the same detector because the secondary radiations are basically X-rays the secondary radiations are basically X-rays in both cases so the detector basically detect X-ray and in both techniques they use the same detector as I mentioned that both techniques use for elemental analysis quantitatively quantitatively mean it's talk about elements and qualitative mean it talk about the quantity it talk about the percent now let's get started in ADS the sample is being excited the sample is being bombarded by primary electron beam here we use electrons to bombard to excite the sample here in XRA, basically we use the primary X-rays to excite the sample. EDX is always performed along with SEM, scanning electron microscope, because this EDX is, EDS is basically embedded in scanning electron microscope, but there is no such information for uh, X or F. The irradiation area in EDS is small. This means that the sample holder, because we, we irradiate electron, so that area is as small so they may cause trouble if we have an inhomogeneous inhomogeneous sample but the irradiation area in XRF is large there is no such issue exist EDS is not always performed with certified standard while XRF is always performed with certified as standard the working principle of both techniques are basically same but in XRF basically the atoms in a sample or bombard with initial x-ray so this x-ray electron eject when electron eject there is a hole and that hole filled by the outer shield electron and that produce the secondary x-ray and this x-ray detect uh, by the detector and it gives the information about the elements because this is this the secondary x-ray is the characteristics x-ray here I have mentioned each element has its own unique X-ray, just like the, the just just like the unique X-ray. This means that just like the finger, just like the finger, the finger print, just like the finger print. So every individual uh, have unique fingerprint. So the characteristic X-ray of unique element is different. So so this is why. Uh, and it also provides the information about the qualitative mean the elements and also what is the quantity of that element exists in the sample. Whereas in ADS, the sample is bombarded with electrons and the same secondary X-ray are produced. In both cases, the, the final radiation is X-ray. You see here, this is the difference. Limitation. Both EDX and XRF are not good for lighter elements. 
lighter element like the less than sodium cannot be detected or cannot be analyzed by these two uh, methods. Generally, the, the EDS is basically good for lighter elements, not for this, like for lithium and more than sodium, like magnesium or those. But XRF is not good. Even XRF is not even detect the elements. Forget about the analyzation, but even not detect. This may be X-ray here. They use X-ray is a from resource. So X-ray is basically waves, wave. While in EDS, we use electrons. And electrons are basically particle. You see here? So this was the differences between EDS and uh, 